Okay, this is the short version of how to tell if two triangles are congruent. So I'm going to start off with these congruent triangles. Uh, just to remind you that in congruent triangles, we have two triangles the same size and the same shape. Same size means that all three sides of this triangle are the same length as all three sides of this triangle, as noted by the hash marks on the sides. And the same shape means that all three angles of the first triangle are congruent to all three angles of the second triangle. Okay, so before we start talking about congruent triangles and what makes them congruent, let's talk about the angles of a triangle. So in this set of triangles right here, we have two angles that are measured already. 35 degrees here, 88 degrees here, and the missing third angle. Now you may or may not know that the sum of all three angles of a triangle is always the same. It's 180 degrees, always. So we can find this missing third angle because if we add up the two that we know and subtract it from 180, we can find that one. So let's do that. Uh, 35 plus 88 is 123. If we subtract that from 180, we find that this third angle is 57. I'm going to go ahead and write that in here. Now the other triangle that we have, which looks the same size and same shape as the first one, also has a 35 degree angle here. So angle A is congruent to angle H an 88 degree angle here, so angle I is congruent to angle B. What about angle J and angle C? Well, if we did the math for angle J, the math would be exactly the same as it would be if we were finding angle C, because we would add 35 plus 88, we'd subtract that sum from 180, and we would find out that angle J was the same as angle C. So what I'm trying to say is, if we know that two angles of the first triangle are congruent to two angles of the second triangle, the third pair of angles is also congruent. Which means, if we know two angles of one triangle congruent to two angles of a second triangle, then we automatically know all three angles. Okay, now, here's the question. Does that make these triangles congruent? So consider this. Uh, I have another triangle here that I have hidden underneath this one. You couldn't tell because it's the same exact size and shape. So what I'm going to do is expand this hidden triangle to show you that this hidden triangle also has a 35 degree angle because I can match it up right there with angle H and an 88 degree angle because I can match it up with angle I and a 57 degree angle because I can match it up with angle J perfectly but now this hidden triangle is larger than triangle HIJ. So they are obviously not congruent. So just because all three angles of one triangle are congruent to all three angles of a second triangle does not make the triangles congruent because they are the same shape but not necessarily the same size. So to make them the same size, I need to know at least one of the sides. So in this pair of triangles, what we have is uh, two angles of the first triangle congruent to two angles of the second triangle, and we have a side. Now the side we have has to be the corresponding side. If it's not the corresponding side, then this is not going to prove that those two triangles have to be congruent. So this corresponding side here, AC, has to be the same position, same relative position as this side, XY, which is marked congruent to AC. So I'm going to use the angles to help me figure out if those are the corresponding sides. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and mark this third angle. Since we know that if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of a second triangle, the third pair of angles has to also be congruent, which means angle C has to be congruent to angle X. So I'm going to mark them that way. 
and I'm going to use three arc marks, three angle marks on those so I can tell which ones are congruent. Now the side that is marked as one of the congruent sides right here, AC, is the side between angle A and angle C. Angle A has one angle mark, angle C has three angle marks. So it's between the one and the three, between the one and the three. So the side over here to be the corresponding side has to be between the one and the three. Now I'm talking about the one angle mark and the three angle marks, and it is. It's between Y and X. So that, in fact, is the corresponding side. So since I have all three angles of one triangle congruent to all three angles of a second triangle, I really just needed two of them, remember, and a corresponding side. It could be any side, but it's got to be the corresponding side. Then those two triangles are congruent. Notice the triangle names are triangle ABC is congruent to triangle YZX, not XYZ because angle A is congruent to angle Y. So we have to start, if we start with A, then we have to start with the Y. Angle B has two angle marks. Angle Z has two angle marks. So if we put B in the second position in the triangle name, triangle A, B, C, then we have to put Z in the second position and so forth. So you have to be careful about how to name those triangles. So here's a different pair of triangles. Now in this pair of triangles, we have two angles marked in the first triangle congruent to two angles marked in the second triangle. And we have a side marked in the first triangle and a side marked in the second triangle. I have to make sure that that's the corresponding side. This one's a little bit easier because the side that's marked is between the two marked angles. So I know that this side between angle one and angle two is corresponding to this side, which is also between angle one and angle two. So I can say for certainty that those two triangles are congruent and triangle ABC would be congruent to triangle PQR. Now I have marked those triangles differently this time. Uh, I didn't mark any of the angles to be congruent to their corresponding angles, but I did mark all three sides of this first triangle and with similar marks on the second triangle, I know that all pairs of corresponding sides are congruent. So I have a one mark, a one hash mark, congruent to this side PR, which is one hash mark. BC has two hash marks. RQ has two hash marks. AB has three hash marks. PQ has three hash marks. So I know that all three sides of one triangle are congruent to all three sides of the second one. Well, here's the thing about triangles. If you take three sticks that are gonna be sides of a triangle and you put them together a certain way, there's really only one way to put them together. If you take them apart and put them together a different way, then that triangle will be the same as the first one. So, unique to triangles, if all three sides of one triangle are congruent to all three sides of a second triangle, even if you don't know any of the angles, then those two triangles have to be congruent to each other. All three sides, all three sides. Now that's not the same for all three angles, remember. That's all three sides congruent to all three sides. The angles will automatically be the same, so those two triangles are congruent. If you only have two sides of one triangle congruent to two sides of a second triangle, you might be able to tell by looking that that's not enough information to determine if these two triangles are congruent because they're not put together the same way. See, this angle is obviously different from this angle. They are not congruent. And this third side over here is not the same as the third side in the first triangle. This one is obviously much longer. It's because of that angle right there. So if I have just two sides, then that's not enough to tell. Now, if I have more information than just two sides, let's find out. Now, in these two triangles, I have just two sides, but I also have the included angle. So, the included angle is the angle between the two sides. See, I have the side AC marked with two hash marks, and the side CB marked with one hash mark, and the, and the angle between them is this angle C right here. Well, in the second triangle, I have those same two sides, ZY and ZX, 
and the angle between them is the same as it was on the first triangle. So if the angle between those two sides is the same, then there's only one way to draw that third side and it has to be congruent. So those two triangles we can say are congruent to each other. So if I just have two sides and the angle that's included, not any other angle, because I have to know that if those two sides are put together with the same angle, two sides in the included angle, then I can tell that those two triangles are congruent. Using what we just learned, see if you can tell if these two triangles are congruent. I hope you said they are not congruent. Even though I have two sides and an angle of this triangle, and two sides, and it looks like the same corresponding angle on this triangle, the angle that is given is not the side angle in between the two sides. See, this angle up here, that's the included angle. That angle is not congruent to this one. So those two sides that I know are not put together the same way. So that's gonna make a different triangle. So those are not congruent. What about these two triangles? Do you think these two triangles are congruent to each other? Well, I have two sides of the first triangle uh, with a one hash mark and two hash mark. It congruent to two sides of the second triangle with a one hash mark and two hash mark. And I have the angle B on the first triangle is between those two sides, so that's good news. But the angle between these two sides here is not the one that's marked. See, I would need angle E to be congruent to angle B, not angle F. So because angle F is not the corresponding angle to angle B, then I have to say that these are not congruent triangles. So yeah, I would have to know something about this angle right here. That would be the corresponding angle congruent to angle B, but it's not marked that way. So we're gonna have to say not con congruent. And what do you think about these two triangles? Do you think they are congruent or not? Well, I hope you can tell by looking that the first triangle is much larger than the second triangle. Even though we have two angles, see we have angle A and angle C marked, that uh, little square in the angle makes it 90 degrees. And in the second triangle, we have angle K congruent to angle A and angle M with a 90 degree angle mark, the same as angle C. So I have two angles of one. Hey, remember, if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of a second triangle, that means the third pair of angles is automatically congruent. So don't forget about that. So that means angle B here has to be congruent to angle L. Now, are these two triangles congruent to each other? Okay, I hope you still said no, because the side that is given here, side ML, is not the corresponding side in this triangle. In the first triangle, the side that is marked with one hash mark is between the angle A with one angle mark and the right angle. Uh, that would be corresponding to this one, which is not marked congruent. Uh, it's congruent to ML. So the corresponding sides are not congruent. Even though we have a pair of sides congruent, they are not the corresponding sides. Okay, so this is the last pair of triangles we'll take a look at on this video. Do you think these two triangles are congruent to each other? So take a close look. We have a 45 degree angle and a 110 degree angle. 45 degree angle and a 110 degree angle. Which means that third angle of this triangle is congruent to the third angle of this triangle. The question is, are the sides that are given, marked with a measurement of three, are those the corresponding sides? Well, in each triangle, that three is between the 110 degree angle and the new angle that I marked, between the 110 degree angle and the new angle that I marked. So that is the corresponding side. So remember, if you have two angles, you automatically have three. And if you have any pair of corresponding sides in the first triangle and second triangle, those two triangles are congruent. Yes, they are.